Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a package that gives you all of the functionality you need when working with Git directly within Atom. So we don't have to go to another uh, terminal application or anything like that. We can manage our repo directly in Atom. So let's get going on that right now. Now, for many developers, Git integration is sort of an essential feature for a nice text editor. And Atom is no exception to that. So if we head to Packages in our Preferences, and we go to Install here, we can search for a Git package. If you just type in Git, G-I-T, you'll see some of the most popular ones. And it should be completely obvious, which is a highly used package here. We have one with 400,000 installs and it's version 5.9. So as you can see, there's a lot of work being done into it. And of course, a lot of people are using it. If we select this, you can see it basically gives us access to Git commands directly from within our text editor, which is really what you would want from a package like this. So as you can see, you have some basic options here uh, where we have the amount of commits to show. You can say pull before push. You could have a verbose commit if you want. Uh, all sorts of nice stuff here. And in fact, you even have some key bindings so that you could have the Git menu itself. Now we have some other things like tab links, show invisibles. And we have our diff settings down here where we can auto indent and uh, have tab lengths and stuff like that. Let's just go ahead and get into this. So I have a project here that isn't actually being tracked by Git right now. Command shift P, we can just type simply Git. And if you see, we have Git plus log, Git plus run, add, init. Since there's no project here, let's go ahead and do Git plus init. As you can see, we have a message down and it initialized a repository uh, in this current directory. So we now have all of our files are green over here in our left column. Now, what does that mean? Let's go ahead and actually modify one of these files. I'm just gonna simply add a comment. As you can see, when upon adding this comment, nothing's changed over here. They're still all green. And now what does that mean exactly? So we'll see if these files change from green to something else as we go here. Let's go ahead and try to add a file. We can do Shift Command P, then type git, add, and you'll notice we have this shift command A will allow us to just run this command directly. So instead of running this from this command pane, which we could do, let's just do shift command A, and you'll notice we get a message down here saying it's added the index.html file. Now, since this is a new project, we probably wanna add all of them. So let's command to git, add, and let's add all. Okay, so it added all of the files. Let's go ahead and commit them now. So uh, I'm gonna guess that it is shift command C. We have a commit message here. These are all the files that are going to be committed and we can just simply type in a message. So we can say uh, initial commit and then we can save that. Now you'll notice after saving it immediately closes and we have our little log here telling us exactly what happened. Now, you'll notice that something interesting happened. Our files are no longer green in the left-hand column anymore because they've been committed. Now, let's go ahead and make a modification again to this index file. We can save this. You'll see that it's now yellow. It's yellow because it has been modified after it's been added to the repository. So now we have changes that we need to commit. Now to commit this change, we can once do command shift C once more. We can just say that we removed the comment and save this. And as you can see, our color has now been changed back to white over here and we've committed this. Now I don't have a remote uh, location for this repo and I'm not necessarily gonna make one just for this video. Now, if we were to say git push, let's go ahead and select push here. We would be able to paste in our remote repo address here and have it push up. If you had multiple different remote repos, you would have a list here in which you could actually push to different ones if you chose. So as you can see here, I'm not gonna go over a complete introduction to uh, using git 
in general. But this package for Atom really contains everything you'll need to manage your repos directly in Atom. I highly recommend it. Get hyphen plus for all your Git and Atom needs. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. You can hit me up on Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials or leave a comment in the video. I always love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.